Hi YouTube, it's Nicole Green here and today I'm talking about my Siberian Husky puppy. Her name is Poppy. Poppy, say hi. Say hi, Poppy. Say hi. Poppy is six months old and she weighs about 28 pounds. We purchased Poppy from a breeder at eight weeks old and we've had her since. She's grown a whole lot. Um, the vet said she has about four to six more months of growth. So she's on track to be about 60 to 70 pounds. Come here. Poppy is very playful, as you can see. She just wants to play. Sit. Come here. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. So training Poppy was pretty easy. Um, we used the training pads, the extra large training pads, and we put them in the bathroom. So we do have some training done with her. Um, we did attend the Petco training class. However, we didn't find it to be very helpful because some of the basic trainings that my husband and I did with her, we felt like we were able to accomplish on our own without the training class. So she does know basic commands such as sit, no, and um, go use the bathroom. She knows to go in the restroom and use it on the training pads. And she knows when I say go sit, it means to go find her bed and go sit on her bed. And she knows um, stay. So she was pretty easy to train. She's a very intelligent dog. However, she is very stubborn as well. So if, she, if she's really curious about something or if she really wants to be involved in something she may ignore you or it may take her a little bit longer for her to follow your command or do what you ask her to do as you can see she's very playful she doesn't want to sit still she thinks right now it's time to play so what i'll have to do is give her a few treats so i can get her to sit still a little bit while i film this video Eat your snacks. Here. So Poppy is a female dog. Obviously, I refer to her as her. And we have not decided if we want to breed her or not or if we want to get her spaded. Um, if we do decide to breed her, I will have to get her menstrual pads for her monthlies once she starts bleeding. And I don't know how cumbersome that will be. So I am taking that into consideration. We are considering purchasing a male husky so that they can breed and we can potentially earn some monies by breeding and selling some puppies. Pup, um, Poppy herself was $1,500 so she was quite expensive due to her features. She does have blue eyes and she is a complete Siberian husky breed. So far we've had several rounds of shots with her um, veterinary. And I think she's pretty much done as far as shots, but she will continue to take a monthly pill to make sure we fight off fleas and ticks so that she doesn't get sick. Um, in the beginning, she did have a little bit of a worm infection. Sit. She did have a little bit of a worm infection. And we did get it treated. Um, we had to purchase medicine from the vet and it got pretty cleared up. Our vet told us that it was pretty common for um, young dogs and young puppies to have this in the beginning. So we got her treated right away and she's been pretty healthy since. Poppy is a pretty good dog as far as um, listening. She doesn't bite. Um, she's very good with kids. She's very good with people. She's extremely friendly. However, she is not to be trusted off a leash because she will run away. She likes to run really fast. And if she was to ever get off her leash, if we were out walking her or if we were to let her out the backyard, she probably would not come back to us. So I definitely don't recommend um, taking Huskies off of their leash because from my experience, she did get out one time from the garage and my husband and I um, were barely able to get her to come back to us so she can get back in the house. Poppy has a lot of energy. Um, she wants to run and play all the time. She runs sprints around the house very fast. She likes to go outside. 
if she is not going outside, what she'll do is we usually leave a window open for her and she'll go up to the window and she'll look outside and you can tell that she really wants to be out there. So she'll definitely let you know um, if she wants to go outside. So Huskies are very intelligent. Um, if she sees her leash or if she sees me put her harness on, she knows that we're going to go out and she gets very excited. Sit. Sit. So some of the basic commands that my husband and I were able to teach her were, um, like I mentioned before, sit, stay, use the restroom, use the bathroom. We say go to the bathroom a lot. She'll go in one of the restrooms and she'll use it on the pad. So that's been very convenient for us. We are in the process of getting a fence built. So once the fence is built, we'll just be able to just open the door and let her out and let her use the bathroom in the backyard and we can just clean it up. It'll be a lot more convenient uh, for her. And she likes the cold weather. We do live in a cold climate. Um, we live in the Midwest, so it gets pretty cold here in the winters and it's not hot here all around, obviously. So she really likes that. She really likes that she can go out and be in the cold weather. One of the things that have been very shocking to me about owning a Husky is the amount of shedding. A lot of people did mention to me and my husband before that Huskies do shed a lot. However, I had no idea to what extent they uh, meant. I'll try and leave a photo in this video and insert a photo that I took of the hair that I swept up after one week. So her hair will shed and it will be over everywhere. It will be on the couch, on the furniture, on the floors, on the carpet. So you want to make sure you invest in a really good vacuum and you want to make sure that you sweep every few days so you can get the hair up and it doesn't build up. Also, you want to make sure you invest in a lot of lint brushes because especially when you wear black, there she will get hair on you. So if you're on your way out the door to work, you may want to distance yourself from her because she will jump on you, she will get on you. And Huskies will leave a lot of hair on you. So you want to make sure you have a limb brush at work, in your car, in different locations in your house. Poppy did go through a little bit of a biting stage. However, we were able to get it under control with um, no. She did understand no pretty early on in her training. So along with no, and we would grab her face a little bit like this. Come here, Poppy. We would grab her face a little bit and we say no. And then she won't bite. So Huskies are not known to be um, very big barkers, but she does howl a little bit every now and then, and she does growl a little bit. If she really wants you to play with her, she'll growl to try and get your attention. When she wants to play, she will bring you a toy. Um, she's very intelligent, so she'll let you know when she wants to play. If you're doing something or if you're on your phone and you're not paying her attention, she will try and nudge that item out of your way so that you can pay her some attention. Um, I find that Huskies really do need a lot of attention. Um, they want to play. They don't want you spending time doing anything else but playing with them. Poppy, come sit. So Huskies do like to chew a lot on things. However, what has helped my husband and I keep down her chewing on furniture and things, we buy her toys. Uh, we just get her like cheap little toys from like Walmart or TJ Maxx and she will chew on those and it will keep her pretty occupied. So she does like to chew and if you bring her toy home, she will understand that it's her toy and that it's okay to chew on. And she will play with that and chew on that. Huskies do need positive reinforcement every day. Um, I try and make sure I go over her commands and make sure I'm utilizing these basic commands with her every day and treating her so she that she can continue to do good and not fall off the bandwagon. So it's very important that you practice basic commands, sit, stay, and things like that on a daily basis because um, she has a habit of being stubborn and she won't listen if it's something that she wants to do. So you have to constantly make sure that you're going over those training commands so she, that she understands that you expect her to do the commands that you are telling her to do. I would definitely recommend daily walks. Um, and if you live near a dog park, that would be very beneficial. 
Fortunately, we live about five minutes from a dog park, so we're able to take her to the dog park and let her run around. And we find that she does interact pretty good with other dogs, and she interacts very well with children. So if you have children and you're considering purchasing a Husky, I would definitely recommend this dog because based on my experience, Huskies, they seem to be very friendly with children and with other dogs. Um, so they play very well. They're very playful and most children, they like to play and run around and Huskies will definitely run around and play with um, little children and kids. Another thing to keep in mind if you have a Husky or you are interested in this breed, um, their dew claws grow very long um, and they can be very sharp and they will scratch you even if she's playing and she's not trying to scratch you or hurt you, you'll definitely get scratched if you don't keep the dew claws maintained. What I find the best and the most beneficial thing to do with her dew claws is to take her to Petco. It's $10 for a trim and it's $5 for a buff. Now I did purchase a apparatus to cut the dew claws, however, I'm not able to buff them out and get them soft. So however, once they're cut short, they're still pretty sharp. So I definitely recommend every two to three weeks to just pay the $15 to go to a local pet grooming store and have them done because they definitely will grow and get long. Um, Huskies do like to play, like I said, and if they're playing with you and you're and they're running or jumping on you, you could potentially get scratched or your children can potentially get scratched. So it's definitely important to keep an eye on how long the dew claws are growing. As far as food, I noticed that um, she is not greedy. Um, I can't speak for other Huskies, but she doesn't appear to be very greedy. Um, sometimes she can, we can make her food, she'll feel like eating, and she'll go all day and won't eat. However, if you are eating something, she definitely will get close to you and try to sniff, and she wants you to offer her something. So she will definitely be greedy if you're feeding her off the table items. She will definitely want to try whatever you are eating and leave her dog food behind. So it's very important to make sure that you are limiting um, off the table foods so that she's getting all the nutrients she needs from her regular food. Because Huskies can be very stubborn as I stated and they will not eat their food if they think that they can eat what you have and they will go a day, she's gone as long as a day without without eating her food. So very important to make sure that you are not given a lot of off the table food because they won't want their regular dog food. We do buy um, dog canned food that is soft and we buy a bag of hard food and we mix it together. So usually she'll go through a half a can or a whole can of soft food and maybe like a cup of hard food in one day. And she drinks a lot of water. So Huskies are very active, um, which is probably attributed to the constant drinking of water because they get tired very easy and they wear themselves out and she is constantly thirsty. So she will drink a lot. However, when the, as the evening approaches before bed, it's a good I idea to monitor and watch the amount of water so that uh, there isn't a lot of urination needed at night. In the beginning, she did urinate frequently and she did poop frequently. However, as she's gotten older, she's able to hold her urine and her bowels throughout the night, which is really good. So as they get older, it will get easier as far as their urination and poop and they will be pooping and urinating less. So you have less times and less trips to take them to use the bathroom. I do recommend if you're going to crate train your Husky that you get a very large um, crate. She's done very well with crate training. She's self-dependent and self-efficient. If we are gone longer than five hours, usually the most we will leave her is eight hours. If we both have to be at work for a full day, we usually will leave food and we will leave water in her cage with a few toys and usually she is okay. So. We do not leave her out the cage while we are not home because I do feel like she would chew up a lot of things and tear up a lot of things. However, she seems to do okay in the crate. Um, we do have some items and some toys and some, some things that we do use to put in her crate while she's gone that have been very beneficial. And at the end of this video, I will show you 
the products and some of the things that we use for her that we have found to be beneficial and things that we have found that she like. Hey, hi. She likes to lick and give you kisses, especially if she thinks that you are in her face for something. She'll just kiss you and say, okay, here's a kiss. Now get out of here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. If you have any tips or advice, if you already own a Husky, please make sure you leave them below. I would really appreciate the feedback. If you have any questions about this breed, I'll definitely make sure I get back to you with a response. So far, I'm very happy that I did purchase this breed of dog. I'm really enjoying her personality. I really do love her. She's a so sweet. And for the most part, she's a really good, very obedient dog. And I can't wait till she grows and gets much bigger so I can spend so much time with her. And I can't wait to grow up with um, this dog. So I want to show you some products that we use that we have found very beneficial. That we feel that they would be good for other Huskies. I would definitely invest in some Flea and Tick Shampoo. Obviously, we have a leash, but you want to make sure you get a very heavy-duty leash because Huskies like to pull when you walk them. So, I would definitely recommend getting a leash that you can put around your wrist and then do an extra loop to make sure you keep them very close because they will run and try and get off this leash and try and get away from you. Happy sit. We have found the Kong to be very beneficial, and she loves the Kong. We do put peanut butter in here, so oftentimes if we're leaving for work, she obviously wouldn't want us to leave. However, she gets distracted and she really gets invested in getting the peanut butter out of here. So we like to use this for when we're leaving. If we're going to be long for quite a bit, we'll throw this in her cage. She'll go in her cage and she will kind of be okay with the idea of us leaving out of the door. These toys have been very beneficial, these rope toys, because Huskies do like to chew, as I stated. So she definitely needs a toy like this. Um, Huskies definitely like to chew on these rope type of toys. So I would definitely invest in getting a couple of these. This one probably was about 10 bucks from um, Walmart, but it's lasted a very long time. Um, you will find that with Huskies, they typically do tear up their toys pretty fast. So you want to make sure you get toys that will last quite a bit of time. This is another toy that um, will keep their attention. It has some paper inside so it makes a noise and it has a little squeaky at the end. And on this end it's a ball inside of the penguin. So she really likes these type of toys and they will keep her occupied. As far as the training pads, we've always used the extra large training pads because the regular size are way too small. So typically if it gets really cold, um, like recently, it was about below zero degrees here in Pittsburgh. So it was very difficult for us to get out the house. I would definitely invest in extra large training pads. They're very absorbent. Place one of these down in an area in the house. Make them acquainted with it. And they will definitely go use the restroom on this. So she will go in the restroom and make sure she use um, the bathroom, either poop or urine on this. As far as food, we use the Pedigree Soft Food. And we also use this Nature's Recipe Food. And it's, um, it's more like a stew. So we will use soft food in a can, as I stated. And we purchased the Pro Plan Puppy Food. And it says on here, Puppy, so you'll know which one to purchase. And we'll mix about a cup of this and about a half can of this or a whole can of this as one meal for her. If you like this Husky video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Poppy does make an appearance in a lot of my videos and vlogs. So if you want to see more of Poppy, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel. 
If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them below. I will definitely get back to you. And you can follow me on Instagram at Nicole the Scientist. Thanks so much for watching. Say bye, puppy. Say bye. Go say bye. Say bye.